the following presentation is a supply chain analysis of transforming goat milk into shepherd trees by Maggie Jo Hickson, Carly Webster, Corinne Bateman, Madeline Colville, Tim Arnold, and Connor Ballot. The production and supply chain of farm goods is key to feeding our populations. It is known that many people are unaware of where their food truly comes from beyond the store. Goat milk is produced at a farm level using inputs such as feed, housing, management, labor, milking systems, and technology. Goat farms can be found all around Ontario, ranging in size from solely producers to large operations such as Mariposa Dairy in Lindsay and Woolrich Dairy in Orangeville, who produce and process their own milk. In terms of goat milk production, it has generally increased from 2009 to 2018 as the demand for goat cheese and other goat dairy products continue to increase over time. The increased productivity is partially due to improving technologies in the industry. The graph displayed in this slide indicates that raw milk prices have decreased from the years 2005 to 2012. This may be due to a production increasing at a faster rate than the demand for the products. During the processing stage of goat cheese production, milk is first chilled in a cooling tank on farm until it is picked up and transported to a processing plant by a special milk truck. At this point in the supply chain, value to the product is added by the processor as it is given the ability for milk to be sold in retail stores to consumers. Raw goat milk is not available for purchase by the general public, which is why it is essential in the supply chain. Generally, for the processor to buy the milk, it costs about 70 cents per liter, and for consumers to buy it, it costs $4.50 a liter. Therefore, it is evident that the process of pasteurization adds approximately $3.80 per liter to the value. Once the milk has arrived at the processing plant, the milk undergoes a variety of steps in order to produce goat cheese. First, the milk is pasteurized by heating it to approximately 63 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes in order to kill off any dangerous bacteria or microorganisms. Once the milk is pasteurized, an additive called rennet is added to the milk in order to create specific cheeses. The milk is then kept under specific temperatures and in specific time ranges in order for the microbial enzymes to create the cheese curds. The curds are then put into draining bags to remove the excess liquid from the curds in order to produce the required consistency. Additional ingredients are added depending on the flavor of the intended cheese. The final product is then packaged in order to be shipped out to retailers. This process overall adds value in a number of ways, including product availability, taste, convenience, and branding, and results in increase in value of approximately 4% from the raw product stage. There are many kinds of chevre cheese, in which the differences between the cheeses have to do with the ages of them. Fresh chevre is the most common type of goat cheese and is only aged for a couple of days. It is a soft and spreadable cheese. Valency chevre is aged for roughly three weeks and Boucheron chevre is a semi-aged goat cheese. In addition to other cheeses like Camembert, Feta, Brie and cream cheese which can also be made with goat's milk instead of cow or sheep milk. These different options of the final product increase the value of the product by giving the consumer an opportunity for choice. In the case of most large dairies, the processor and producer are the same. Therefore, the product is just moved to the next level of the supply chain without money even exchanging hands. For smaller producers, however, the milk is bought and picked up by the processor frequently to be transported to a processing plant. This may be done by the plant itself or by an outside transport contract. 
Cheese is the most popular final product for goat milk, with 85% of all dairy goat sales. Again, the milk can be bought for 70 cents a liter. The cheese products are then sold for around $5.30 per kilogram. In addition, marketing can also increase value added on the product, as it can be more eye-appealing and draw consumers' attention, increasing demand for their product. In certain supply chains, goat cheese is sold by independent sellers such as the farmer or company. But in the majority of cases, goat cheese is sold through distributors to larger retailers such as Metro, Costco, and Walmart. In terms of costs over a two-year time frame, the average price per kilogram of goat cheese has increased by approximately 50 cents from $5.12 per kilogram to $5.61 per kilogram. This is most likely driven by an increase in demand as goat dairy products rise in popularity due to their health benefits and increased consumption of quality animal products as a result of increased wealth. Consumption levels of goat cheese have changed over time. The average number of kilograms of specialty cheese consumed per person from 2004 to 2016 has slightly increased from approximately 7.3 kilograms a year to 8.8 kilograms a year. This is due to changing consumer tastes and increasing knowledge of the health benefits of dairy goat products. The following data is a simple way to easily comprehend the process of goat's milk being transformed into chevre cheese via the supply chain. Raw milk is produced on farm, pasteurized milk, where raw milk is purchased by the processors, chevre cheese is where the pasteurized milk is processed into cheese, retailers, cheese is then sold to the retailers, and customer, the customer then purchases and consumes the final product. Thank you for listening. Here are our works cited.